prime real estate but not prime conditions. No, the opposite of prime. The opposite. <laughs> Netflix. What? Coffee time. We stayed last night at the back of um, Lower Light. It was not technically behind the pub, it's just right next door. And we timed it to perfection. We were there for the snitty night. $12 for a huge schnitzel, veggies, and any gravy that you want. It was unreal and $5 pint. So it was a no brainer for us to stay there last night. And now we're starting our York Peninsula journey. We just pulled over for a coffee. And we're just gonna head down the coast. Uh, we have not done any research as per usual and haven't booked anything, so we'll see how we go. <laughs> Brewed to perfection. It's just instant. <laughs> Show you quickly inside our car. I don't think we've gone over like a real quick like how we've now um, set it up and we've just repacked it so it's nice and clean. It's my little Christmas wombat. Yeah, we just put hats up top. We've still got our still our same storage containers and then that's where the new water tank's gone. Just under here and then the hose comes out the side there. And then we've just got shoes, which isn't pretty, stacked in the gaps, but upgrading to this car, we've got so much more room on the, our back seats and Joss's, Joss's is exactly the same on this side too. But he hasn't got as much as the water, so. Stacked three and then shoes and then camera stuff in the middle there so nice and roomy keys uh, i don't know where the keys are We are in Stansbury. We're just making our way down this side of the peninsula, just checking out the little towns and things. It's about 10.30 in the morning and we don't really know what we're doing. So Joss is just having a quick look on Wiki to kind of see where we go and where we should camp tonight because the weather today is just really beautiful. Hardly any wind. There's a tractor coming. So we kind of want to be on the beach to make the most of it, especially if this is what's going to be like for the next few days. So we might go further down around the peninsula towards Marion Bay, just because there's way more camping options. And Joss was just saying they're about 20 bucks a night, which isn't bad, but it's not great if we want to spend a lot of time around here. Obviously it's gen uh, January, so still school holidays as well. So we've just stopped at the visitor center at Innes National Park. We've got to get a parks pass to enter and then we're just trying to figure out where we're going to stay tonight. So most of like the top spots people will tell you to go to are on this other side. So we've come in past Marion Bay, we've got the visitor center here. A few coastlines still are like you can go and see, but everyone says like Dolphin Beach, Shell Beach, Browns Beach um, is good for like the camping. So we'll just go in and see what we need to do. Obviously you have to pre-book those sites now as well. So. Yeah, looking for some more info. Bethel Beach. Hmm. Very good. Very interesting. Is it? Mm. Okay, we're just leaving the visitor center now. The lady was super helpful. So you actually don't need to get like an entrance park pass because it's embedded in the camping. So as long as you stay, you're actually covered to explore the park. So tonight we looked at the weather. Um, 
and it's getting pretty bad so it'll be there's no wind at the moment at all uh, it's so nice but on this side here which is the southwest side the wind's gonna pick up to like 30 to 45 kilometers an hour so we've decided not to stay over on this side and we're going to just go and do a few of the bays now a couple of lighthouses maybe even like the Ethel Beach where the shipwreck is and then we're gonna go over to Pondalawi campground there's two sites left and possibly spend two nights there until the wind dies down and then maybe we could come back and camp this side or we'll continue up the peninsula to give you an idea the camping's about $25 a night and that includes the $13 entrance fee per day so yeah that's not too no, it's pretty good. Obviously at the campgrounds there's different facilities at each one. Um, some are bush camp, some are on the beach, but tonight we are hoping to get into the bush just off of Pondalawi Bay, I think. Or beach. Bay. Anyways, yeah. We're out. Steinhouse. Yeah, Stenhouse Jetty. Stenhouse Jetty, Stenhouse Bay. Yeah. So there is this is one of the camp spots, not here obviously, but like over the hill there's some bush camps. Um, this is where we wanted to stay, um, Joss had found on Wiki there was availability, but this is the direction the wind's going to come from. So across the water here you can see Kangaroo Island, and the wind's going to come straight off of that tonight, so not for us. <laughs> I'm just looking for sharks. <laughs> Look for seals, I can even see seals. Sharks? <laughs> I'm such a loving wife because Joss is so pasty white and his neck was exposed, he gets to wear my cute little hat. Does it look like a female hat? No, it looks cute as. Don't do that. No, I need more no, protection. It'll break my hair. <laughs> Did you bring your bat and ball? What were you going to say? Joss <laughs> is a bit tired at the moment. What's the time? Like two o'clock, it's his nap time. But not today. So that must be the surf break up, like over there. Oh, yeah. Kitchen's open. Lunch time. Lunch time. Joss is just getting the Starlink out because we need to book a campsite. We don't have any internet. And I'm just going to make us a real quick tuna salad sandwiches just because it's about like two o'clock. And we're just probably going to sit up um, here for the afternoon. So this is Pondalawi Bay. Um, you can drive onto the beach here. It's pretty compact. Um, we've just come up a bit because I think the tide's coming in. Bit of seaweed, got some cray fishing boats out and loads of people launching their boats off of here. So we'll have some lunch and chill out and then definitely go for a swim because it is hot, very hot. Oh, it's so hot. It's so hot. I got burnt on my shoulder. <laughs> Joss is burnt on his neck. Just from walking around today, we've been sitting under the awning since we've been here, but a bit spicy in the sun. Three, two, one. We're at the, it's the camper trail and caravan sites at the Pondalawi Bay. We picked this one just because it was a bit bigger, whereas the tent ones over there, some of them you could drive onto and a lot of them you couldn't, or like they weren't too far off the road. So Joss found this one, so this one was $25. $25 a night, but like I said before, it includes the entrance into the national park. Really nice, like, level sites for multiple, like, you know, your caravan or your camper trailer to back on and be off the road. They've all got fire pits, but in summer it's a fire band. And they're all fenced in, obviously drop loose. There's some just over here. They don't smell at all, which is really nice. We've just back straight in because it is a bit windy, which is coming from this way. So it's going to hit the tent and hopefully not keep us awake. <laughs> but oh well. Joss just setting up the 
the gas stove. We're just going to cook some Mexican tonight. And then we'll have a chat about what we'll do probably tomorrow. We might leave the National Park and go up the coast a bit more since that's the more protected side of the peninsula. Joss and I both got sunburnt today, which is so annoying. I didn't. Uh, you did. I didn't know about... And I got on my arm. The sun. I didn't know about the sun. Yeah, it's a bit spicy. But yeah, that's what we're doing. We're going to chill out now. Don't have that. I'm going to cook dinner. Uh... <laughs> cooked up a storm tonight. <laughs> no, Megan's cooked up a, a Mexicana dish. Yeah. What do you call this one? Um, Mexican. It's a Mexican bowl. Yeah. Just a little salad bowl. With rice and sour cream. Yep. Should be yum. <laughs> There's loads of March flies here, like, attacking us all the time. wasn't too bad last night. We were just saying, I think it's picking up now though. I think it was last night it was okay in the tent because Joss positioned the car good and he put some like Velcro strips on the back so it wasn't flapping as much as it usually does. So we're just going to have Joss is making some coffees. Shell Beach. We are driving around the Innes National Park today because actually we're driving out of it now really. Yeah. <laughs> it's so windy here. We stopped in at Shell Beach and Dolphin Bay. Dolphin Bay. We saw some dolphins at Dolphin Bay. It was so nice. I had the red rocks. We can actually take the GoPro bare fires. It's really pretty. And a bit then, blowing. and but yeah, too yuck to swim yeah. and so we're just heading out. We stopped at a few other campgrounds, Shell Beach campground, which is tiny. A bit more um, protected though, because they had more established like trees. But yeah, slightly more protected, I'd say. So small, only five sides. Yeah, five sides, yeah. Day and tomorrow are windy. Yeah, like 45k winds. But I think after that, it calms down again. I think it's daily, because daily. daily would be double L. Daily head campground, so you need a permit to book here. It's 20 bucks a night. Um, it is really nice, like these are the sites, they're massive. And then obviously you'd be looking right at the ocean. But unfortunately, it is just blowing so much. These guys are really good. How can they in their car? Right. Can't, can't So we've just pulled down a dirt track. Joss is fit fixing our antenna. Thank you. Yesterday we just went from one beach to another, trying to find spots out of the wind. And we ended up staying in a caravan park next to a brewery because we were bored and we wanted to go to the pub. So now it's the same conditions today, about 30 to 45 kilometer hour winds. So we, again, we're just going to try and find somewhere out of the wind and something to do. Uh, at least today it's nice and sunny. It's meant to get still quite warm. So maybe we'll just find a little bay and just set up for the day, have some swims. But yeah, we're having um, not great luck with this antenna. We've been going down some dirt roads and some corrugation and I'm not really sure why it's coming loose. So Joss is trying to fix it. <laughs> What a spot, it's not even that windy. So we went down some dodgy tracks, got the first little stripes on the new car. I was driving, so it's all my fault. But yeah, we've come down to the beach, really um, hard sand. So um, we're just gonna get Joss to come in sideways because there is still a bit of wind, so we'll try and block that. And we're gonna just set up for the day. Can camp here, there's a few vans. And yeah, it's really clear water. It's so nice. I'm excited.
So this is the Warrati Beach. I don't know how to actually say it. It's that one. Might be coffee time, is it? Yeah. Cafe is open. Can you get sand in the sausages? Yeah. So it is so freaking windy. We decided to cook dinner. Obviously, we're trying to protect ourselves as much as we can. There's a good chance we're going to eat sand tonight. <laughs> oh my god. It's, it's been bad since probably like four o'clock. On and off, it was just gusty, but now it's just like constant gusts. But there's no other options of where to go camp. Doss is living his worst nightmare. Look at the sand. Wind blown. Ugh. Wind blown. Burnt. Yeah, it's not been fun. How long do you think dinner will take? Like three minutes. All right. When you're done. Come and get me. No. Yep. <laughs> the wind is shocking and Megan wants to be on the beach, so it means wind and sand. If she wants to be in the wind and at the beach, she can be she can enjoy it out there. So, can keep, you get out of my room? I keep cleaning out the pan to like cook in and it just keeps getting covered with dust, uh, with sand before I even start. I don't want one grain of sand in my sausages. <laughs> so yeah. So I'll probably sleep in here tonight, I think. Do meal prepping for the morning. So since it's been so warm, Joss and I have been loving like overnight oats. Um, what I've been doing is smashing a banana because um, they're very ripe on the bottom. And then we've got this organic 52% um, hot chocolate blend. So I've been putting that in as well. And then just like really homebred muesli, overnight oats, um, chia seeds. And then I just like soak them in milk overnight. And then in the morning, Joss adds uh, his yogurt, his great yogurt with it. Whereas I just have it with this. And it's been so good. Except every now and then my consistency is a bit off. So last, last night I nailed. So I'll see how I go today. But yeah, just normally we just add in like loads of different fruits and nuts and I don't know, flavors. Sometimes we have like cinnamon and honey. Sometimes we do the chocolate thing. So yeah, we've been loving that at the moment. So I'll try and do that and not get any sand in it, but probably not gonna happen. Might be a bit crunchy in the morning. Living the dream. I mean, it's sand off me. prime real estate, but not prime conditions. No, the opposite of prime. The opposite. <laughs> Netflix. What? <laughs> So I've left Joss sleeping. Um, it, it was pretty windy last night, so I don't think he slept well and he's a bit sunburnt. Um, but overall, it wasn't as bad as the night before. It's definitely dropped off and it's dropped off again now, like for today. Uh, so this is really the beach. So it's very compact sand down the bottom here. And then even where we're camped, it's still um, pretty solid sand. Like we haven't even let our tires down or anything. And yeah, it's free camping here. It's really easy to get into. Like I said, it's a gravel road the whole way down. And then yeah, along the beach, you can go as far as you want. People are way down like there, a few here. And then that's the entrance just where those vans are down there. 
and there's even more camping beyond that. Do you have to be self-sufficient here? There is a um, like composting toilet on the entrance in. So like yesterday we've got our toilet here, but yesterday we didn't want to use it, so we like drove down to go to there. You have to bring all your rubbish in, um, and there's a few sites like up on the dunes, but otherwise, yeah, you can stay as long as you want, and it's all free. It's pretty amazing. to most of the towns that we've found on the York Peninsula. Just cute little quiet, quiet old buildings, um, but not much there. Like some have like little um, like food works, IGAs. Uh, this one has a little like servo. <laughs> <laughs> um, some have pubs, obviously. Uh, the last time we stayed at in Caravan Park had a nice brewery. And they've all got like big jetties, so I'm hoping Joss will go catch me some squid. Mm. I think this is a pub on the corner, that's a nice one. I reckon that'd be a good pub. Yeah. Oh, the caravan park's right on the water, it's so nice. There's a dolphin under the jetty. I'm gonna walk down and see if I can see him. Just gone under us. Just trying to catch the scraps of everyone fishing. <laughs> oh, there he is. He just jumped up. <laughs> Underneath or on the other? Yeah, like in that pillar. He's hiding, naughty guy. <laughs> That's pretty deep. Yeah, it's only yeah. just one. Hmm. For Hurdy Beach, I reckon. Yeah. For Hurdy Beach, we're just dri driving down. Again, the sand's nice and hard. I haven't let our tyres down. The water's really far out, so I think on the GoPro you're just going to see white. But it's proper turquoise water. It's really beautiful. Um, there's loads of four-wheel drives down set up for the day. So we're gonna do the same thing, find a spot and have lunch, put the um, awning out and just go for a bit of a swim. Oh, it's so nice. The wind hasn't gone. <laughs> it's better. It's not gone. Just... We're hiding behind the car again, but it's so nice. I'll make Joss put the drone up so you can really see how nice the water is. So we've not put the awning out because it's just a bit windy and we can't be bothered, don't know how long we'll stay. So I found another solution, 
Joss that doesn't like the sun is the AM off road draw. <laughs> <laughs> we fully protected. Good. Yeah? Yeah, perfect. I like it. He hates the sun. Look how clear that water is. Buddies, chicken.